So this is the last lecture on air leakage, which is also called infiltration. I would say there are two types of heat loss in a house. What are they? Infiltration, transmission. Yes, transmission we covered by heat going through the wall. Convection, uh, convection conduction, or radiation. Infiltration is basically mixing of the air, losing air inside the house. So, if we were to think of this room as I have a hole in the room, and I already heated this air inside the room to 75 degrees. So the air coming in and the air coming out, that's infiltration, that air being changed. So if I'm concerned about, guys, if I'm concerned with the room temperature and this hole in the, in the wall which is exchanging air, what do you think I should calculate? So if this is my, my room, my house, or my cabin, and there's a crack here. Air coming out, air coming in. And this is the the cavity. So if we are going to do the, the heat loss, this is the heat loss, right? Yeah. What am I concerned with? Uh, area and temperature. Area of uh, what? The home. Is the area? The home. What is being changed inside the the, the room? What is being changed? What, what are you leaking? What is the air. air? So if I want to calculate the amount of air in the room, what would I do? The amount of air in the room? Yeah. Find the volume of air. If I want to know how much air is in the room, what do I do? Calculate the volume of the room. Yes, volume. Make sense? So I have a small opening here where we have an exchange of air coming in and out. So the first thing I want to think of is the area, what, how much volume of this air am I going to lose. So first I'll do the volume. What is the volume uh, of a yeah. cube? Huh? Uh, cubic feet. So three. cubic means three times. So it's three dimension. So it's length, width, and height. We all agree on that? Mm. So calculating the area of a room is very easy. Can go with major term and measure that. We just write down the heat equation for uh, a room instead of just a wall or something. Yeah, it's not going to be a wall. There's no wall in so the Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to first of all calculate the volume of the room, which is length, width, and height. See, heat, this is in feet. This is in feet. This is in feet. So feet cube. Feet times feet times feet. That's three times. That's cube. That's in uh, okay. Second thing that I want to think of. That's a two. Huh? That's a two. So, second thing, logically speaking, I have this room. There is amount of air in it. I'm exchanging this air. What is the thing I'm have to think about? How fast is it gonna cool off or, or change temperature? Speed. I'm gonna. I don't think of this opening, right? How much is it leaking? Like if you have a tank full of water and it's dripping, you don't know how many drops per minute, right? When is, gonna, when is this tank gonna be empty? So how much am I leaking inside or outside? So I'm gonna think of this as the infiltration rate, how much am I leaking air to the outside and the inside? So we call this N, which is infiltration rate. going to be cubic feet per minute. Cubic feet, cubic feet per minute. How much am I losing out of that? Volume, volume, we're good, right? And then, what is the last thing? If I open this door now, I have infiltration rate, right? As big as the door. This whole door is leaking air to the outside. But what if the temperature outside is the same as the inside? Then. I don't care. Yeah, there's no pressure. There's no pressure, and the temperature is the same. So, if, uh, if it's really hot outside, I'm going to get a lot of hot air coming in, and it's going to mix with the cold air. Easier. Ready? 
So it's going to mix in and out. So what does that have to do with anything? If I have the room here at 70 degrees, and the temperature here is uh, 30 degrees, it's going to come in and mix. Who's going to feel it first? Probably us. Benny will feel it the last. But eventually, he's going to feel cold because it's going to come all the way back. So that has to do with the temperature difference. Okay. Which is going to keep mixing, 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 and then the inside is going to be as cold as the outside. You agree? And then the equation goes away. Huh? Then the whole equation just disappears because yeah. you have the same temperature. It's a rate. So, simple as that. So I'm going to add this to the other equation over there. This is going to be here. This is for transmission. Where do we find this infiltration rate? So either we calculate it, or we can use a small, nice shortcut from your book. If you look at your book at page 73, actually 71, This rate is given by ASHRAE for rooms with one window or two windows. And so this is going to be your N factor. This is here, it's going to be your N. Delta T, inside mass outside, and volume. You just go with a measuring tape and measure the volume. Question? Simple, right? So now we know how to do the transmission through the wall. Uh, we know how to do infiltration for the room. And we always have to do both. You can't do only one unless the, the room is completely sealed. If the room has no windows outside, no infiltration. Yeah. If the window has no, if the room has no no windows outside, and there is no wall to the outside, is there any heat loss? If there's no wall to the outside, yeah, it's like inside the window. No, no. Like a dining room, for example. No. So let's uh, do some calculation. Infiltration heat loss, that's Q. Air, heat capacity, don't worry about that. The amount of air that leaves the room per hour, that's that. Those are combined into something called the infiltration rate. Volume of the space and temperature difference. Those two are basically the infiltration factor. What do you think about that? Understandable? Makes sense? So this is what we here combine. Those two usually are combined together, so you don't have to worry about the 0.18. I'm not going to ask you that. But this is actually just to tell you where does the infiltration rate come from. It's the air heat capacity, how much the air can handle can hold heat, it's 0.18 times the infiltration rate, which is VQ per degree Fahrenheit. So this is infiltration heat rate, 0.1 is the heat capacity, number of air exchange per hour. These two are combined into one number, so I don't have to worry about the 0.18. Volume of the house or the room, temperature difference. That's a weird a unit to have for something. Because it does add up. Heat volume, per feet cube, per, per uh, actually this is actually again divided by. <coughs> it's really good to look at. That's all. Yeah. It's supposed to be like dot, like t multiplied by Fahrenheit. Oh. It's not going to be divided twice. Oh. Actually, let me fix it. So it's BQ over volume temperature. Yeah. Uh, this was 
this one. Okay, so let's do a quick example. I want to do this example here. Determine the heat loss by infiltration for 30 by 50 times 8 feet ceiling with infiltration 0.8. This is the infiltration rate. The inside temperature is 70, the outside is 10. So, Q infiltration. I'll go with the volume. What is the volume? 30 times 50 times 8. 30 times. Times 0.8 times 70 minus 10. So this equals how many? Huh? 12,000. 12,000. Times 0.8 BTU power. Cancel out. So you end up with the BTU hour. That's pretty huge. Yeah, it is. But that's a big space, and that's also. You do 12,000 for a cube? Yeah. Because it's feet, feet, feet. Three times. Volume, filtration rate, degrees. You don't right. cube it again. I mean, you're just putting it a foot. Yeah, cube, that's a reference. Yeah, foot times foot is foot cube. Foot times foot times foot, that's three cube. That's cube. That's cube. Yeah. Uh, we're still measuring thing, thing uh, Henry's foot. What do you think? Volume, rate? I think it's yeah. easier than transmission. Yeah, it is, it is. It's, a lot it's still straightforward. You know why? Because they give us the filtration rate. If we have to calculate this, it's a very lengthy process. We're not gonna do that. So let's keep it simple. Yeah, you don't have to subtract anything to yeah. get the area of something. Yeah. yeah. Very straightforward. Where are you gonna use that? Hold on. In the project, if you look in your sheet, <coughs> this actually these cubes are room for each room. So for if you look here, this is the filtration, volume, factor, delta T. Boom, the filtration. Simple. Ceiling, transmission, floor, transmission, slab if you have it, if you don't have it, just cross it. Windows, transmission, doors, transmission. Doors are only to the, if you have a door. If you have a door for the room from the, to the inside, does it count? No. no. So the only door to the outside. If it's the, the room that has no door to the outside, you will cross it off. Then walls. Which walls? Outside. Outside walls. You good? We'll do one more example. So using the infiltration factor from your book, a room with one outside windows with storm sash and weather strip is kept at 75. The outside is 10, the room is 15, times 12, times 8. What Usually the ceiling is 8 or 9. If you have a house with high ceiling, probably get a account for that. And Monday I will do the, the cathedral ceiling with a triangle. And I will find three ways. What's funny? Okay. Uh, this. So, cathedral ceiling, we'll do a calculation for that. Uh, and that's how involved we want to get. So either regular ceiling or a 
vaulted ceiling and how we calculate that volume. So let's, let's try to work out this example. So let's look at the book. A room with one outside window with storm sash and weather strip. Weather weather strip. What is the infiltration value? Yeah, one side. There's one side the room with one wall. The outside it has one window. What would be the factor? Look at the book. Okay. Are you sure? Storm sash and uh, weather strip. Right. Do windows, doors, or weather strip or storm? Explain no. oh. what, what is the number? I got 1,123. 1, yeah. Yep. Huh? 123.2. <laughs> Anybody got this number? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be BTU hour. This yeah. uh, looks more realistic than another one, right? Yeah. It's a small room and good infiltration rate. It's not a lot. Okay, can we do this? Is it just doable? It's easy? It's not confusing? Factors are here. Volume. The, mo the only tricky part from the video we saw is calculating the volume. Yeah, and, uh, and you saw how, you, how the guy did it. He went with the measuring tape. And I will show you how to measure above the ceiling. Okay, questions? Um, you got that, that ND infiltration rate? Yeah. You got that from the book? Yeah. Okay. Page 71. Okay, so we'll do three examples on Monday. And the uh, only tricky part is finding the volume. Okay? Uh, I'll stop here.